Hello dear children. Are you ready to listen to a story? But before we go to the story, tell me children. What do we mean when we say share? What happens if we don't share our things with our friends? And what do we mean by caring? Who cares for you? And how do you feel when mama takes care of you? Can we also care for someone like animals, birds, a baby, or maybe a wounded friend? Beautiful. So today's story is caring for those who are weaker than us. It's about a child named Prema, who is also in first standard, just like you all. So let us start the story. One day. After school, Prema was walking home with a friend and her friend's grandmother. When she had almost reached her house, Prema said goodbye to her friend, thanked her friend's grandmother, and walked towards the house. Prema was excited. She and Ma had made plans to spend the whole afternoon painting some mud pots. They wanted to make the pots look colorful and pretty. They would fill the pots with water for the animals and birds. Early every morning, Ma and Prema would fill a few pots with water and keep them on the terrace for the birds to drink. Ma would say, "They get thirsty too, Prema. Keeping water in a bowl." Shows we love the birds and care for them. Prema always felt happy when a few birds flew down almost immediately to drink the water. They would also keep a few pots near the gate for the dogs and the cats and even the squirrels. Prema would check the pots when she returned from home. If they were empty. She would fill them up with water right away. Prema would take care to see that the pots were always filled with. That evening, as Prema was about to open the gate and walk into her house, a soft whining sound made her stop and look around. There were a few bushes near the gate. and the sound was coming from there prema stopped and peered into the bush two little eyes blinked at her it was a puppy a little puppy oh ho thought prema why is it alone where is the mama dog she got up and started looking around but there was no big dog in sight at all Prema looked again at the little puppy. It looked cold and hungry. Poor sad little puppy. I must help it, she thought. Her parents had shown her that they took care of helpless creatures in different ways. Ma would never pluck all the flowers from the plants. She made sure that there were many flowers left on the plants. so that the butterflies and the bees could suck honey from them we all live together prema papa would say we can all love and care for animals and birds the same way we take care of ourselves we can be kind to them in small ways just like her parents prema also wanted to look after small helpless animals and birds children is it a good idea to take care of animals and birds why so let's see what prema does next prema had made up her mind she would take the puppy home ma would know what to do she could not leave the sad frightened puppy alone and go away The puppy was too scared to come out of the bush at first. In fact, it moved deeper into the bush, still whining. Prema did not give up. She stretched her arm into the bush, all the time talking to the puppy in a soft, 
gentle voice. She let it sniff at her. The puppy must have felt that Prema was a friend and would not hurt it. So it slowly came out of the bushes. Prema gently held the puppy and talking to it softly, she took it inside her house. Ma, said Prema, look what I found near the bushes. A puppy, it's so small. It's cold and looks hungry. Can we give something to eat? Ma was surprised to see the puppy. But as Prema had thought, Ma knew exactly what to do. In the bushes, is it lost? Maybe it is someone's pet. Anyway, first thing first, let's take care of this little fellow. Ma gave Prema an old cloth and told her, to wipe him all over. He will feel comfortable and happy when he is dry and warm, she said. The puppy wriggled and squirmed as Prema wiped him. He wagged his tail happily and jumped up to try and lick Prema's face. She giggled happily as she wiped him nice and clean. Children. Do you know what is wriggling? Yes. Let's see what happens after that. Then Ma gave him some warm milk with bread soaked in it. In just five minutes, the bowl was licked dry. And soon the puppy happily curled up and slept on a soft towel. Prema said Ma, he could be someone's pet. They might be searching for him. We have to put up a notice on the gate that a puppy is here and the owner can come and collect him. Prema felt sad to hear this. She did not want anyone to come and take him away. But she listened to her mother and they tied a notice on the gate that said, Puppy found on road, safe inside the house. Owner may ring the doorbell. The rest of the evening, Prema and the puppy were together all the time. The puppy followed Prema wherever she went. Ma just enjoyed watching the gentle and loving way in which Prema handled the puppy. Why do you think the puppy was scared in the beginning? How did Prema handle him then? Why did Ma put up a notice? Do you think she did not want the puppy? So was it a right thing to do? Okay, let's see what happens next. Dinner was over. No one had rang the bell or had come to take the puppy home. He was fast asleep, lost in doggy dreams. Yes, doggies also dream. Prema was worried. She wondered what was going to happen to the puppy. She wanted to keep the puppy and take care of him properly. Ma and Pa told her that she could keep the puppy only if she promised to look after him well. Prema agreed to that and both puppy and Prema were very happy to have each other. So children, we come to know from this story that like Prema, we can also love and care for animals and birds and someone who is weaker than us. It will make us happy that we can make others happy.